Obviously, Meghan Markle has a case to answer, but shouldn't Harry take responsibility too? He's a grown man. He's the guy that left Britain. He's the guy that threw his family under the bus. He wrote Spare. He participated in the Oprah Winfrey interview. He did the podcast and the Netflix series. Do you think he's getting off yeah. lightly and that maybe Meghan is taking too much of the blame? Well, I certainly think he does play a role. He does have to take some of the blame. Um, mm. You know, it, it's unfortunate. I mean, she she allowed him to bring out some of the anger and resentment that he had towards the royal family ever since his mother died. Um, so, yes, he is not blameless. But um, she is the one who's perpetuating more. I, I think Harry is beginning, you know, since uh, King Charles was diagnosed with cancer, I think Harry is, he began actually a little while ago, but I think it's sinking in now how much he misses his family and how, mm. <laughs> how they're not going to be around forever to be, uh, to be, you know, um, spoken to or, or disregarded or, or, you know, dissed actually in all the ways that they have been doing that. And, um, he's realizing, you know, wait a second. And so I think, I mean, it might be, um, at some point that he would, go back to the UK and and that he would have to divorce Megan. I don't think that that's happening just quite yet, but but there are some stories about that, that he's talking about wanting to be more in the UK and she doesn't want to. So mm -hmm. I'll have to see with that. But, um, but yes, it, it's sad. I mean, he's just like actually he saw at... Uh, at the Queen's funeral, that was when it began. You could see his face, that he was feeling not only lonely, but sort of sad that he hadn't been around with her longer.